right, we are back here with uh, Eric Hirschberg from Activision. Uh, welcome to E3. Have you been over to the show floor yet? Oh, of course, yeah. All, all weekend and uh, a little bit before that, too. Well, you guys have had uh, an amazing start to E3, obviously, with Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, in the Xbox briefing. Um, you know, let me ask you about that game specifically, because sure. obviously it's, you know, it's a huge phenomenon. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, for a while were thinking that Call of Duty was maybe starting to atrophy a little creatively about, you know, what they're doing with their campaign and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. the Treyarch guys seem to really want to push on, on all dimensions with this game. And was that, was that scary to you as the CEO to hear that these guys wanted to reinvent some elements of Call of Duty? Not at all. I think that whenever you have a successful franchise, which is, you know, both a blessing and a burden from a creative standpoint, yep. you always have to walk the balancing act between, you know, providing meaningful innovation uh, and giving people reasons to come back again and again, yeah. and yet not losing touch with the things that people fell in love with about it in the first place. Right. In the case of Black Ops 2, I think you hit the nail on the head, Treyarch is really uh, taking a wide berth, and they're really re-examining a lot of the, the things that have been, you know, uh, consistent, right. and they're, they're kind of no sacred cows, they're really going for it, and, and I couldn't be more thrilled, I think it looks great. But the best news is, with all the innovation, with all the new things they're trying, it still really feels and plays and moves like a Call of Duty game. Absolutely. Now, uh, last year you introduced, you know, Modern Warfare 3 alongside Call of Duty Elite. Yep. Um, this year, you, guys, you, know, you haven't talked a lot about sort of Elite and how that's you know, referencing with, with Black Ops 2. How is that all going to work? I mean, you had that experiment with the subscription uh, that you know, a lot of people signed up for. Yep. Um, is it going to be any different, the experience with Elite, com with Black Ops 2 compared to Modern Warfare 3? Well, each year, I think there are opportunities for Elite to evolve right. to, uh, to, to best kind of ignite that year's game. Yep. So there are certain things that I think will remain consistent, you know, ongoing. But yeah, absolutely. We're we're constantly, uh, you know, going to evaluate what's the best way to, to you know make the player experience better. Yep. And that was the whole goal of Elite is that you've got you know these tens of millions of people playing uh, Call of Duty, and we wanted to unlock that as a more social experience. We wanted to give right. people more ways to play together. And and um, you know we're gonna you'll be hearing more about you know the innovations that are coming with it as we get to the launch of Black Ops Two because they're always very much married to that. Year's game. The, right, and multiplayer yeah. when you guys talk about that, which exactly. you haven't yet, and you're probably not talking about it here. Um, you did announce uh, yesterday in the Sony briefing, Jack Trent announced that there'll be a Black Ops coming for the Vita. Yeah. Uh, are you going to do a Black Ops for the Wii U? Um, we haven't announced that anything on that okay. yet. All yes. right, so you're not ruling it out, but it's uh, nothing to announce. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you uh, do let the me talk. Let me decide. Right. <laughs> right. All right. Well, that's, but I think that's, let me ask you about that with uh, Wii U. We had that uh, unveiled this morning. We yeah. saw Ubisoft on stage. We saw Warner Brothers on stage. Didn't hear a lot of news about uh, what Activision's doing with Wii U. Are you, you betting big on that platform? Well, uh, we have um, Skylanders Giants will be coming out. Okay. And, uh, Wii U. and, and we, um, you know, we've had a great partnership with Nintendo on uh, Skylanders. Right. Uh, it, that franchise in general, I think, is such a, a great fit with the Nintendo brand. And look, I'm very excited about uh, where they're taking the Wii U and the hardware. And, you know, I don't have any formal announcements today right. that we haven't made yet, but I think that uh, I'm glad to see that they're putting more emphasis on the network and more emphasis on the yep. back end that makes, you know, great multiplayer games possible. Yep. Uh, and, you know, stepping up in HD in a big way. And I'm, you know, very intrigued by the controller as well. Well, that's interesting when you talk about online, because that's something I think a lot of fans have been wondering. There's the Miiverse online and stuff, and Activision. I mean, would, in order to do a, a Call of Duty or any game with you know, a lot of online gameplay, would you guys have to, would you have to build like an Elite or build your own service, or how does that work on the, on the Wii U from a, a third-party perspective? Well, the, a, a lot of what makes you know, Call of Duty multiplayer uh, so great and makes it work well is you know, sort of controlled within an Activision ecosystem. You know, yep. we have a, a group called Demonware who executes the entire back end and, you know, the matchmaking and all of the things that make it, you know, the, the best matchmaking and the, and the best ping and, you know, yep. those things are, are things that we've long ago taken, you know, direct control of because it's right. so important to the gameplay. That's an opportunity. That said, the quality of the network of the PlayStation Network or, or Xbox Live or what they're going to be doing with the, the Weverse. Um, is uh, is really important to to the gameplay is you know the, the platform that it all that brings it all together. Right. All right. Well, we'll see what happens there. Uh, let's talk a little bit about sort of you know Skyliners, which I know is something that's been close to your heart. Last year, I remember you were on E3 talking about, hey, this is going to be big, yeah. and I think a lot of the gamers watching were a little skeptical, yeah, and now yeah, it's they were. become this billion dollar phenomenon um, for you guys. I mean, that idea of Skyliners, that type of gameplay. Do you think that is that unique to Skylanders, or do you think that can go to other franchises? I mean, there were hints that you know, uh, Wii U has NFC technology mm -hmm. and use characters. I mean, do you see this as sort of a, a real a platform more than just a specific franchise? Well, first of all, I, don't, I think that uh, obviously we've gotten the attention of both the toy industry as well yeah. as the game industry now, and I, I would be shocked if there weren't uh, people in boardrooms right now right. figuring out how to how to you know enter into that genre because we didn't just introduce a new franchise, but a new 
you know genre of play in a way. Yep. And um, and yeah, of course it's a it's a big platform. Bringing toys to life is kind of a DNA level idea. You know, it's something that. Uh, that you've wanted to do from the first time you were a kid and picked Call up a Duty toy. Call of Duty toys to life, come on. <laughs> you know people have wild imagination. I'm sure you guys want to stay ahead of the competition and sort of innovating in that space. Don't, don't think that I haven't been in that meeting. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have. Uh, another thing that we should talk about a little bit is, um, you know, recently you've announced that you have this big deal with Bungie and you're working on this exciting new mm -hmm. franchise. I know it was unfortunate a bunch of kind of legal documents yeah. leaked out about that deal and stuff. Um, is that still is all that stuff still true that it, it's it's coming next year it's coming first to Xbox? Well, I'm not going to comment on the, oh. the the leaked documents. All I will say is that they were you know a couple years old and yep. you know things have have moved on significantly since then. But you know I've said this before when we had the leak on MW3 last year. We live in a very connected world. Yep. Uh, these leaks do not you know seem to be things that politicians or the military can stay out of. Well, it's and, tough for those guys. They didn't have a dog in that fight. And of course, like, of yeah. course, is is an, an unfortunate. Uh, you know, kind of situation, but um, but I, I don't think it will affect any of our ability to you know go to market with a great game. And you're you know, you probably can't say a lot, but are you excited about what those guys are doing? What oh, that game's yeah, looking absolutely. Like? Yeah, they're they're just you know one of the most inventive and uh, consistently high quality developers in the world, and it's a great partnership, and uh, we're really excited about what we're going to be bringing to the market together. Any idea when people will first start to hear details on that? Not going uh, to comment. No, no announcements that you haven't heard yet. No, Sorry to keep. Right. I feel no, like a broken record good. here, but no, you keep it's asking all those good. questions. You got it. We don't want to uh, <laughs> don't want to spoil any surprises, but obviously, good to hear that it's still actively in development. and You guys are excited about where it's going. Yeah, fantastic. All right, well, yeah. uh, have a great show. You got a lot of great games on the uh, show floor. The new Transformers. We showed an amazing uh, CG piece for that yesterday, and uh, that game is on fire. Yeah, that's as well. a great game, and Hyman Studios did a wonderful job with it, and it's you know got a prominent, uh, it's prominently featured in our booth, and yeah. I think that that could be a sleeper hit. I, I really have a lot of uh, high hopes for it. Fantastic. All right. Well, shout out to Justine, the host of Friday Night Fights. That's right. Justine's the good people. That's doing a right. Great job on Elite you. TV, on right? On Elite TV, if you're not seeing it, if you're not a premium member, you're not seeing it, but. More Friday Justine, Night the Fights. better, right? That's right. And Ridley and Tony Scott, executive producing, and Justine. Yeah, knows. well, hopefully we'll Justine see. Justine knows he's really the news. Exactly. You know, that's the draw. <laughs> Justine is a big draw, and she's been uh, commanding our social board here where there's lots of buzz, and Black Ops 2 was uh, trending like crazy uh, the other day when it was yeah. inside the Well, Xbox you're going to see more. If, if, if you haven't been yet, uh, go when the show opens, stand in line. And see the uh, the uh, demo we're doing. You're going to see the strike force uh, yep. levels. You're going to see all of Los Angeles from beginning to end, and uh, you know a bunch more innovations. And they got out. zombies and multiplayer and yeah, so much to go. Be, it's so. going to be huge. Yeah, Lamy yeah. and those guys are on fire. All right, yeah. thank you very much, Eric. Yeah. Always a pleasure seeing you Great every year. See you.